Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct just past the bottom of the hour. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We again have some fairly quiet conditions for right now, but they are starting to pick up a little bit in intensity as we see again the potential for more chances for thunderstorms out across the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the weekend. So if you have any plans for outdoors, I don't think it's going to be a complete and total deluge. But once again, if you live in East Arkansas, back into West Tennessee and Northern Mississippi, I would be prepared for the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms causing some more problems into the rest of the day today. Forecast information in the blue bar down underneath where I'm talking. And again, more information about our seven-day forecast here, available at wreg.com slash weather here. So stick around again for more information on that. Coming up, we're going to forego a little bit of the usual stuff that we do at this time of the morning, including a lot of our webcams and earthquakes and stuff like that because of the fact that we just have a little bit more active weather taking place in the Mid-South for right now, and we'll continue to see that tonight. Could even be the possibility of some severe weather in the area. It doesn't look like a huge amount of severe weather, but it does look like, again, something we really do need to be paying attention to. So again, if you are going to be doing anything outdoors today, East Arkansas, West Tennessee, Northern Mississippi, definitely want to stay tuned for more on the forecast, and we'll keep you updated on that. Welcoming aboard all of our, face, or all of our uh, Twitter and Periscope users at this time and assuming my tower of stuff doesn't collapse holding up my cell phone welcoming in all of our viewers on my Facebook page and keeping you updated as to what's going on with the forecast for this morning rest of the day today again through this afternoon into this evening better chances of showers and thunderstorms across the mid-south it doesn't look like huge chances again I really don't think we're going to get that much of a deluge but if you do have outdoor plans you are going to have to have something indoors to get to in relatively short order remember that these lightning strikes can happen 20 to 30 miles away from a parent thunderstorm. So you could be in downtown Memphis and get hit by a lightning strike from a storm over Collierville. It happens that way. And again, why risk it? Be safe. Get back indoors again. Make certain you're doing all right and everybody stays safe out there. Best chance of thunderstorms, again, I think will be late this afternoon into this evening and into around the areas close to overnight. I don't think it's going to be an all-night type thing, but I do think we need to watch this one. So we'll tell you more about the severe forecast here in just a little bit. City Hall cam from Germantown, a quick view of some of the cameras out there cloudy for the most part we got some sunshine poking through from time to time so it's not totally overcast very mild though 59 degrees east to northeast winds at about nine miles per hour and flooding continues across the area you can see the river overspreading the farmlands between i-40 and i-55 and beyond into eastern arkansas the river has crested it is now on its way downward slowly but that's still a tons of water to get rid of and to head down to the gulf of Mexico, so it's going to stay upwards for a while, which means the far end of Big River Crossing over here is going to remain closed for the time being. You can still see people out and about as the Memphis side is open, but it's very dangerous over here. You don't want to get stuck in that water, so please keep that in mind if you are going to be going anywhere across the Mid-South area. Zulu4, welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for dropping on by for today. Again, drop your location and anything you have in the way of weather reports into the comments section. We'd love to see more about where you're located from. Donna Swackhammer B. Hernando, welcome to the show this morning. Let's take a look with Storm Tracker 3S radar. Metro area, not quite so much. Northern Mississippi, we're starting to see showers and now some thunderstorms redeveloping. It doesn't really look, again, like we have a ton of activity going on, but we do have, again, and it looks like we're having trouble with the tracker system here, so give me just two shakes to get this where we need to be. Uh, northern Mississippi, between, it looks like, just outside of Ripley, getting some thunderstorms taking place here, and then back over to just southeast, uh, southwest of Corinth, moving to the east-southeast. That's where we're seeing most of the activity going on at this location. The heaviest thunderstorms have been just west of I, or just east of I-55, moving from west to east, and moving across Oxford down toward Takapola and to close to Pontotoc, north of Water Valley. So fairly rumbly, thunder, rainy in Oxford for this morning. If you are going to be traveling, this appears to be the heaviest activity by far. And we should see, again, the possibility of more thunderstorms developing out here throughout the rest of the day. Now, red on radar does not mean severe. These color schemes on here just mean that the brighter you go in intensity toward orange, 
red, even purple. That's how much rain is coming down, and that's a stronger reflectivity back to the radar site. So that's why you're seeing the colors. But we have no severe weather taking place at this time in the Mid-South area, but we do have plenty of reasons, again, to stay indoors as these storms go past. So please keep that in mind. We've got no watches, no warnings at this time, just past about almost 8.40 a.m. We'll continue again to see what's going to be going on here throughout the rest of the day. Now, for everybody else in the viewing area, a few showers trying to redevelop here back to the west of Forest City, moving to the east-southeast around McCrory and heading toward I-40. No thunder here. West Tennessee is basically blank at this time, minus the scattered showers that you saw earlier this morning around Corinth and back towards Savannah. Not much of anything else. Likewise, eastern Arkansas is not really seeing much of anything at this time. Mostly all the activity is along and south of I-40, and I think we're going to see more activity like this throughout the rest of the day, especially south of I-40 and into and around northern Mississippi and southeast Arkansas. Temperatures nowhere close to where they were yesterday morning, so again, we did not see anything in the way of very warm conditions out there throughout the day. A-U-Y triple L. Welcome to the show. Not too sure how to pronounce that on Periscope. Thanks for joining us. Grady Bennett, 55 degrees, cloudy in Berclair Wells Station. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And in very small two-point typeface, Nancy McGinnis Hardy from South Haven. Thank you very much. Mr. Anthony Woods on Periscope. Thank you very much for dropping on by. Decently mild out there. If you've got a weather report, temperature, rainfall amount, drop them into the comments section. I'd love to know what the weather's like wherever you happen to be checked in from Mid-South or not Mid-South. Welcome to the show and let us know more about what you're looking at. Now through the rest of the day running the numbers we've got very mild conditions. Winds coming up out of the south so that's going to bump the numbers up quite nicely. Nowhere near the chilly conditions we saw yesterday. We are also going to see I think from right now from what these models are showing south of I-40 getting the possibility of rainfall and thunderstorms greatest here. But I would not be surprised to see some random activity popping up north of I-40 either. Either. So anywhere from Dyersburg, Jackson, Forest City, Jonesboro, the Boot Hill, Memphis, and the Shelby County area, I would not be surprised to see more activity like that. Now, through this evening, off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms. T. Steve Gopp, welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for stopping on by. CP66, welcome to the show on Periscope as well. Much of what we're going to be seeing again through the rest of the day will just be these off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms. There's not going to be a total washout for the weekend, but... Once again, you're going to have to have an indoor plan B ready to go just to be on the safe side. Now, past about dinner time and sunset tonight, this is where we start to see the potential of some stronger returns on the radar, maybe looking at the potential of some maybe severe weather out there for tonight. The forecast has changed. We'll tell you more about that coming up in just a little bit from the Storm Prediction Center. But through midnight and into very early tomorrow morning, possibility of thunderstorms. I would think, again, anywhere past about 6 o'clock tonight, roughly to about midnight tonight for much of the Mid-South News Channel 3 viewing area. So that's going to be the main thing. Now, through daybreak tomorrow morning, the heavier weather moves off to the east, and we don't see too much in the way of major problems into the rest of Sunday. There will be more chances of showers out there. It doesn't look like thunderstorms at this point, but we will continue to monitor that. Then dry air undercuts this whole thing as the system wraps up and heads on out of the picture. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. If you have not seen this forecast from the Storm Prediction Center, this is relatively brand new. It's about a couple of hours old. Should be updated again here within about another 90 minutes or so. Uh, Bone, one, two, three, four. Thanks for joining us on Periscope for this morning. And see, Stuart Martha Roland Lyles. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Diane Wingo from Colt, Arkansas. Thank you very much for checking in. This is, again, the forecast from the Storm Prediction Center. This is kind of your distant early warning, so to speak, to let you know what may be happening. And this is a different forecast than what we saw even just about 12 hours ago. We now have, for portions of the area, got to get that zoom in fixed at some point. Again, what we're looking for, metro area, Memphis up here, bright green, a marginal threat of severe weather, not great chances, but still possible. Even higher chances now, slight risk category for northwest Mississippi and southeast Arkansas. Phillips, Coahoma, Quitman counties, just south of Panola counties. This is going to be the main target zone for anything involving severe weather. Now, we're on kind of the northeast fringe of this. The best possibility of severe weather will be anywhere in here. 
excuse me, and down into around central Arkansas. Main threat for the Mid-South looks to be damaging winds, maybe some large hail. J Moon 901, thanks for joining us on uh, Periscope for this morning. Most of what we're going to be seeing again should be well to the south of us. This is also where the best possibility of tornadoes will be down this direction, south of Little Rock into around extreme western Mississippi. But again, some of that could wander into the Mid-South area, so we could be looking at some more problems with this into around later on this evening. So again, if you have any plans out there, this is where we may see again the potential for the problems starting up later on tonight and going into very early tomorrow morning. And Again, this forecast will change. So if you have any plans for outdoors, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on this. Again, it doesn't look like much for right now, but we do still see that potential for the Mid-South. Again, mainly south and west of the metro area tonight. But even if I lived in West Tennessee, Northeast Arkansas, or Northeast Mississippi, I would be keeping a very close eye on this situation. So again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on this, and we'll let you know about that. Pony Expressor, welcome to the show on Periscope. Little Nephilim, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, thanks for joining us as well, and thanks to everybody else for joining us. Bonnie Cummins, good morning uh, to you. Let me see here. Wesley Stultz, Thunder, Lightning, Pea-Sized Hail in Ripley, Mississippi. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that weather report. It looks like we're getting some elevated thunderstorms out there already. Now, tomorrow, the threat for severe weather goes way away from us down toward the Gulf Coast states. So from the Mid-South, we clear all this out, and we're not looking at too much of anything left over after that. Running the numbers for the forecast, mid-60s today. Very mild, a little bit above normal, not doing too bad, but showers mostly. Thunderstorms could happen at any point in time throughout the rest of the day today and then into the rest of the forecast tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow. We could see again some thunderstorms out there into around early tomorrow morning past about midnight Sunday. Showers for the most part. Uh, Med Guy, welcome to the show on Periscope for this morning. Patrick Austin, welcome and good morning at this point in time. Uh, what time is it supposed to start in Crittenden County? Stuart, Martha, Roland, Lyles, uh, anywhere within the next few hours. Again, you could get the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms taking place. Excuse me for one second. This is going to be happening later on tonight, I think through about dinner time and about midnight or so. Is that where we're going to be seeing the worst of that and then going away from us by Sunday? So again, showers for the most part into Crittenden County and the rest of the area, but there will be that potential of thunderstorms here as well. So please keep that in mind out across the Mid-South. Best possibility for rough weather will be tonight, dinner time and sunset afterwards, and then showers for the most part into the rest of the forecast for tomorrow. There could be again some early thunderstorms taking place into early, early Sunday morning, way before dawn patrol, but again that could be a bit of a problem out there for travelers out there for the time being. Uh, Donna Swackhammer B, everyone have a great day. Thank you very much. Yes, sounds like a great day to be lazy, but uh, some of us have to have a uh, weekend shift ahead of us, so we can't do that. Uh, if you have outdoor plans for the rest of the forecast into the weekend and you're thinking, okay, great, everything clears up on Monday, yeah, unfortunately, that's the way it works sometimes. So this is about as good as it gets uh, for the time being. So this is going to be seeing cooler, drier conditions into around Monday. And that'll be, again, the best possibility of some nicer weather out there. A little cool during the day, frosty in the morning. So the kids will need something to bundle up against the cold out there for right now. Uh, Adams Tony in Dyersburg, Tennessee. We safe in there. Well, safe, again, that's a kind of a very interesting word to use. As of right now, you're not in the severe weather category in Dyersburg, but you should monitor this to be very certain on this for later on today, especially into tonight. Weather radio ready to go. Remember tonight's the time change, so while you're changing your clocks to where they need to be, please remember to also change both the batteries in your smoke detector and in your weather radio. If you don't have one, now's a great time to get one to make certain you can get warnings at any point in time, and that thing will wake you up if and when there's severe weather. And you can program those things to make certain that you don't have uh, to be woken up by thunderstorm warnings on the other side of the country. You can just select the areas that affect you. So something to think about. Again, get that taken care of. Could be a life-saving thing. So Dyersburg, again, not as much as, say, Oxford, Mississippi, but you still need to monitor what's going on out there. We get back into the 60s by the end of the week, and unfortunately by next weekend, late, late Saturday into around Sunday, there's that chance of showers and thunderstorms once again. 
Granted, it's still about a week and a half away, but we will be watching that. Stan Mail on uh, Periscope, thanks for joining us for this morning. Again, this is going to be what we watch for the next several days. This could develop into something very severe, or it could just be rain showers. It's still several days out, so once again, we've got to watch this very carefully, so keep it tuned for more uh, on that throughout the course of the rest of the week. WREG.com slash weather if you'd like to know more about that. Scrooty, thanks for joining us on Periscope. Uh, for this morning. And again, uh, let's see, Stuart, Martha, Roland, Lyles, appreciate the info. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. That's I couldn't do this without all of our viewers on uh, our various social media websites, so thank you very much, whoever you are on either service, Periscope, Twitter, or on Facebook, for tuning in for this morning. Okay, quick check of whether where the troops are. Again, we do this as a kind of a salute to everybody wearing the uniform and everybody who's at home wearing the uniform of the home front, as my dad used to say, uh, after 24 years in the Kansas Army National Guard. 61 degrees, naval support activity in Millington, a little closer to home here, more clouds than anything else. Around the globe, starting off a little bit closer to home, but not quite around the world. Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, 82, so far the high low of 70 and no rainfall to report at this point in time. Back into Iraq, temperatures back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Cloudy skies here and there, mostly sunny back toward Mosul. 80s, cloudy for the most part around Basra. Likewise, a little cooler into around Baghdad. Temperatures back in the lower 70s there. Afghanistan, 50s around Kabul and Faizabad. 74 degrees in Kandahar. Rain reported around Herat. Kind of a rare situation there. But temperatures uh, letting rainfall come down instead of snow. Very much on the warm side. Just around and past sunset in around the uh, Persian Gulf. 90 in Bahrain. 91 in Saudi Arabia. 70s around Doha and Qatar and 75 at the International Airport in Kuwait. And for the area around South Korea, had some brutal cold temperatures right about the time of the Olympics as some colder air marched south across portions of China from Siberia. Not quite as bad right now, but once again, we've got some fairly cool numbers, 30s and 40s for the most part, including Chun Chan showing up at 38 degrees near the DMZ for this morning. If you'd like more of this information, all you have to do is find this really cool website to go to, public.wmo.int. It's the World Meteorological Organization. If you've never checked it out before, I urge you to do so. Great information available out there, so please take a look. Fred Flynn, thank you very much for a spectacular sunrise view from Friday in and around Oakland, Tennessee. Very nice view from yesterday. Thank you very much for sending that along. We also had some nice pictures out there of James R. Gulledge, a frequent contributor here on our webcast at Sunshine, briefly anyway, around the Humboldt, Tennessee area. Thank you for that. Louis Haskett, also a frequent contributor. This one from Northeast Arkansas. Sunshine trying to get through, but not doing too good of a job. And from Needy. Kumathikagar, I hope I'm saying that even close to being correctly, beautiful view of sunset in the Big Apple. So thank you very much for including us on that one. If you'd like to send in your own pictures, we'd love to feature them, but we can't do so unless you send them in. So send them to me at aonic underscore wreg3 on Twitter, aonic no underscore necessary wreg3 on Instagram, and of course on my own Facebook page here at Austin Onic wreg. If you'd like to get any more information about that, again, all you have to do is email me as well at at austin.onic at wreg.com. We'd love to have you along for the ride on that. That'll wrap things up for again this morning. Catch my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations throughout the rest of the day. And, of course, I'll be back on with Bob and Josh on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, bright and early Monday morning, so stay tuned for more there. We'll monitor any possibility of severe weather through the Mid-South throughout the rest of the day today, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. And, of course, on our social media web pages, we'll have more details there. I don't think we're having too much immediately, but tonight, dinner time through about midnight, that's going to be the time frame that we really have to watch on this. So definitely want to stick around uh, for more on that with News Channel 3. Thanks to everybody who's been watching us on social media for this morning. More details throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3. So stick around for a lot more. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the WREG TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. More to come throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.